guys, hey guys, hey guys, this is Vaughn, and welcome back to another episode on the Pixel League server. I am Vaughn, and we are back, and today we are going to end this uh, Pokey Survival series. Uh, I'm a little sad to end it, I was enjoying it, but I think the majority of you really want me to go back to kind of having regular episodes, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to go back to regular episodes. Uh, first, though, I do want to, once again uh trade our i want to do a wonder trade so we're going to just start off right away with that so wonder trade we're going to get rid of that magic carp boom oh is that a spiro spiro that is a spiro that's kind of one of the guys that i wanted actually which is silly but i wanted him as a guy that i could fly with if i was going to continue doing this uh survival's pokey survival thing i would eventually want to have a pokemon that i could fly on and so spiro would have been a good one but we're not going to do that we are going to finish up i want to take some of this back with us let's see we definitely want to take that we definitely want to take that and that we definitely want to take the tms uh didn't i find a diamond i thought i found a diamond oh i used it in to make the healer we're going to leave the healer here Mo I'll take the rare candy. Most of this stuff I'm not too worried about leaving because I have most of it already, you know? I certainly don't need redstone. I had a weird bit of lag there for a second. I don't know what's, what's causing that. That's kind of weird. Stop lagging! Really? I, I thought maybe I was running out of disk space, but I'm, I'm not. Uh, so let's see. I definitely don't need to bring back probably any of these stone tools. Uh, I might keep the... Should I keep the sword? I probably don't even need to keep the sword. Um, okay, I was having some weird lag there, and I rebooted my computer, and I'm hoping that that has fixed the lag. Uh, I also finished organizing the chest, so here's everything that I've cleared out. Only thing that I'm really leaving behind is some a couple gold nuggets... Uh, the gunpowder, I do kind of want to bring the gunpowder. If we continue with that tree, let's leave that there. Let's bring this. I don't think I really need any of these other stuff. I have tons of this stuff at home. Gas tears is kind of tempting. I don't know what I would use them for. Hmm. Sure, we'll bring those instead of the cobble. Other than that, I think that's it. Let's do that. Let's break this bed real quick. Let's put this back in there. Uh, we will have one less. And now, oh, there's a boss. Probably can't kill this boss. But let's try. Uh, and of course, if I do kill it, it will drop stuff that I won't be able to pick up. But we can always switch things out if it's something good. A level 47 Hypno. Let's use Raticate. He's got some dark moves. Uh, dark moves are pretty powerful against psychic types, right? Yeah, his sucker punch is dark, so that should be a good move, yeah. Kill you! Woohoo! So, level 43, we got a sunstone, a potion, and a choice scarf. None of which I really care about. Choice scarf is not bad, uh, but we already have one. Oh, you know, I, see, I put some stuff here, too, uh, just because they can hold it there. Um, I don't think any of this can go, like, here. Hmm. I think I'd rather keep the choice scarf than the potion. And what else dropped? Oh, it stacked, didn't it? Whatever it was. Does it say? It doesn't say what the other thing was. Well, I th Who's drowning? Anyway, I think... I, I'm not going to worry about it. We'll keep the choice scarf, though. And now I need to kill myself probably twice... Just to speed things up, you know, so that we don't have to... And by the way, I have to leave all the rest of the stuff there. Oops. And in a way, I kind of want to leave it here as like a memento... A memento of the time that we did this crazy trial task thing. I'm very sad that we didn't find any shinies uh, during our exploration out here. But such is the way of life. Let's see. Um, we're going to have to go up a lot higher to kill ourselves. Uh, or we, I guess we could drown, but that's so slow. I don't think if I know where any lava is. Oh, this will kill us. Whee! Yay! Okay, so I think due to this mod, it uh it will spawn you back here once, and then the second time, this should bring us back. Well, what this will do, 
uh, is this is going to respawn us back at spawn and then we can use the portal to go wherever we need to go so that should be that should be fine now last episode I talked a lot about we <laughs> talked a lot about we now I talked a lot about yay we're back home uh, the future of the server and myself and making videos and stuff uh, I want to keep making videos. I like Pixelmon, and you guys like Pixelmon. I I, I never wanted to stop. It, the problem is that, you know, I didn't want to make videos by my, you know, if I could just make them by myself and nobody was watching them, might as well just make them by myself. But I think you guys mostly want to watch it with me, and I want you guys to watch it with me. So for now, I don't have any plans to stop. Uh, what I may end up doing though is I don't think ooh, no, no, no. I don't think we're gonna end Pixelmon but uh, let's go to my bamboo house and drop some of the stuff off I do I think that the server is broken that too many people have left that it's too sad and and broken right now so uh, I've talked to Terrace and I've because Terrace, you know, Terrace is the guy that made the server, right? But he doesn't play on here anymore. He has already moved on to bigger and better things, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. But uh, for those of us who want to stay here and keep playing, it's kind of difficult when the guy in charge is no longer playing. So um, I talked to him, and I was kind of like, hey... Can I kind of take Pixelmon over, really, basically? And he was like, sure. So, <laughs> uh, I don't know exactly what that's going to entail. Uh, we haven't talked about it too much. But I think I will be kind of taking over at least part of the admin administration stuff and calling the shots. Where do I keep my quartz? Do I even have any quartz here? Let's just, let's just stick it in here. Uh, so that's really kind of cool. It's I've got some ideas for things that I would like to do. U-turn. We wanted to use that on uh, Magellan, didn't we? I think. And I'll have to double check. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Where did I put all my stuff? I think it was in here. New. Did I put all of my stuff like in a specific box? somewhere so that I could easily like reclaim it at some point why are those in there those are in there because I was supposed to use one of them uh, <laughs> I don't remember which one though okay I didn't have a whole lot what did I have ice bucket a probably a pick which pick did I have on me where is all my stuff? I don't remember. I might be actually. Let's go back over to my gym. So, um, so here's the deal. Because the server is kind of going down, I'm going to probably start looking around for new people or new things to bring to the server. Uh, and I don't know if this is going to go anywhere, do anything, if we're going to have any success or not. Uh, uh, I don't have... I don't have a flying Pokemon. The Pokemon... This is a Spearow. You can't fly on Spearows, can you? <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. I have to wait until he turns into a Fearow. So let's go back through. Let's switch out our Pokemon. Uh, we did get a nice Raticate. Raticate ended up at level 43, which is not anything to sneeze at. But... Uh, I don't think I want him to be on like my main team. Let's see. We'll give this entire Pokemon team their own. Oh, we need to get these things off of them though. Grab all that stuff. Get in my inventory. We'll give them their own page. So anyway, I'm going to I'm going to work on fixing the server, but I don't know if it's possible. I hope it's possible because I want to keep working on it and playing with it and playing with you guys and, and stuff. But, like, for instance, what's the purpose of making a gym if nobody is on the server to play on? If I'm, I, you know, Ruben quit and uh, Xanus quit and Terrace quit. So I think the only people who are still maybe playing are me, 
maybe Dire and maybe MK, and they both stream, uh, and maybe like Sushi might pop one occasionally. I don't, I don't think so though. So, obviously things need to change. Oh yeah, we were gonna go back over there and check on, seeing if I put the tools up there. I can't remember where there was. Whoa, 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 whoa. Apparently my run key just got <laughs> stuck or something. So it may. Basically, what I'm trying to get to the point is, is that if you bring a bunch of new people on, it's not really fair to bring them on uh, to the mess that they're in right now. So I would probably, if I'm in charge, what I'm going to do is I'm going to collect, you know, the, the five or ten or however many people uh, are going to join the new server. Or, well, it's the old server, but joining the server, and then we would probably reset to be honest, and as that sucks because I've got so many shinies and I've got like some cool ideas for a gym, but I, I think it would be most fair for everyone and possibly would alleviate, okay, this is where my tool sets are, this would probably alleviate a lot of the problems that we're having on the server uh, because people are not active and stuff, and like, this is kind of dumb, but like, I think one of the problems, honestly, is that we just have too many mods. And that's sad because we love the mods. It, it it added a really cool aspect to the the mod pack, but at the same time, like we it, it was just it's just too overwhelming. There's just too many mods. There's just too much. So, um, I'm not saying that that's what's gonna happen, but I can foresee that happening. I think that what we'll probably do is something more like season one, where we have the the, the pokey we have the the pre-made world oh, we have we can go enchant something why don't we go enchant something uh, so we'll have the pre-made world are right, there was something I wanted to merge together wasn't there maybe well but, but what I want to do is make a pre-made world uh, probably kind of something that will keep people together uh, because what happened with this server is we had all of these biomes of plenty, and so everybody wanted to go play on the biomes, and then spawn itself was not a great location either, so everybody ran away. Originally, when we were talking about resetting, we, we had all of these great ideas for a really cool spawn town that we wanted to do that never happened. And I, I'm partially to blame for that because I didn't play at the spawn town either. Not much, anyway. Uh, but I, I did play a lot, uh, and so... Nobody made the spawn town, and it, it just it didn't work out. So what I would love to see happen is that we actually build the spawn town before we... Oh, King's Rock does not fit, huh? Interesting. But yeah, we would build the... Oh, this repeat ball doesn't need to be in there. We'll build the town before we start the new server, and then it's already there. Kind of like a pre-generated structure, and it would be like Pokemon themed, like it would make sense. Uh, the problem is that I'm not, I don't know a whole lot about Pokemon, so I'm gonna have to find some people who do. I'm gonna have to see if people even want to join uh, and, and and see if it's worthwhile even having this, try to, trying to sub salvage this. Um, we could combine these. Is this what I wanted to combine? That would give us an efficiency five on breaking three pick. I swear that there was a, a pair of picks that I wanted to combine. Maybe I did it already. It's very possible that I already did it and I have forgotten. Uh, I don't know where else they would be. Maybe they were back at the other place, but let's just see how much it costs to combine these two. 24 or 31. That would be 3 and 5. 3 and 5. Let's just do it. Whatever. Why not? What am I using? Efficiency 4, Fortune 3. Okay, whatever. Yeah, so I, I would hate to see this world be reset again, basically, because we've got so much that we've started, and I feel like I'm just finally getting on my feet. You know, like my... This is my team, you know? Like, my team is just finally all level 60. Like, where is somebody that I can challenge, that I can fight, that we can do this with, you know? And I could probably... I could probably get somebody, I mean, if I really begged Ruben or somebody, they would probably come on and let me fight them, but, I don't know, like, 
I feel like it, it's it's too little too late, and so uh, what I think I should focus on is starting to build the new the new world and uh, getting some new members on who are interested in Pokemon. Uh, I think we had a lot of guys who signed on because they wanted to play with the big names, uh, and when the big names kind of lost interest or whatever, moved on to a new project, uh, they lost interest. And we really need people who just want to play for the sake of playing, regardless of whether uh, the other person online has a thousand subscribers or ten thousand subscribers, you know? So, I don't know if those people exist uh, and are mature enough and, and stuff, because obviously I want I wanted to be YouTubers and stuff as well. And I know a bunch of you guys probably want would love to have the opportunity um, I can't say that that's possible. If you were a Let's Player, it's possible, maybe. But for the most part, um, I think we're looking... Ooh, that grew in my face. We're mostly looking for uh, other people. Let's let's go back to the gym. Uh, but, you know, anything is possible. But it does make me kind of wonder, what are we going to do in the meantime? Uh, for one, does that sound like something you guys care about? If we reset again and get a whole new team out... Do you want to see that happen? Would you rather me just continue on here by myself? Or would you like to see me start a single player world and just not even worry about the stress of building a whole new world and, and finding new members and stuff? Because that would... Oh, there's a boss. I don't know if we're going to be able to get to it because it's a Abra, but we can try. Well, he didn't teleport. Got him! Sweet! Uh, so, yeah, let me know if that is even of interest to you, uh, and if you have any recommendations on people that I could talk to, that would... Oh, stupid boss. Uh, I could certainly message them. I mean, obviously, they have to be people that I kind of know and have some way to contact, because uh, I know a lot of people in the, in the industry, but I don't know everyone, so it's very possible that I won't even know whoever it is you want me to contact. You are not a shiny Bulbasaur. Uh, and then, of course, regardless of whether I start a single-player world or if I continue on this world, like, if I, I'm gonna have to find a way to keep making episodes that are both interesting for you guys, as well as interesting for me in a way that still gives me time to focus on, uh, a new server or something. A new world. Ooh, there's another boss. Red, red Goldine. I just figured we'd go flying and see what we can see. Uh, I would really like to find another shiny! Even if I'm gonna reset the world soon, I would still enjoy that. Um, so, yeah, as always, I really want you guys to just kinda tell me what to do. Hold my hands! No, I mean, obviously I can come up with my own solutions, but I personally... Like there's, there, I'm of two, I'm I'm of two minds. <laughs> One is it would be nice to be on a, a single player world where I just don't have to worry about anybody but myself, and I can just plan everything myself and not worry. You know, like it's just me, uh, no no relying on other people. So there's never like that fear or that expectation of somebody else. But on the other hand, playing with other people is a huge amount of fun. Really, kind of can help you make your series more interesting and it encourages you know the battles and the gym fights and stuff so I do feel like that's an integral part of the server uh, and and or or of the game of, of Pixelmon and being on a server is a lot of fun uh, assuming you have people who play so I could go both ways so like really if, if you guys were just like ah screw servers uh, we will watch you forever by yourself then maybe I would do that Otherwise, I think I'll try to salvage the server and get something something new going. And if you have any ideas on what to do on the on how to get a new server going, let me know. Um, the, one of the problems is that I'm just not a very technical-minded guy, so I, I'm going to have to bring on a friend who's going to help me maybe with the technical side of things. And everybody's busy, everybody's got their own work, and I'm busy too, so I don't I don't know if it's all worth it, you know? Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to let you guys down. So, in the meantime, we're going to keep playing Pixelmon. We're going to keep looking for shinies. We're going to...
probably keep working on our gym, even if nobody ever comes back on to play on it or challenges. I still want to try building it, at least finish up the the ring that we started and see where we can go. So maybe to that end, uh, we'll put up some more columns. I think we, we started the next column, but we did not get all the way to it. So maybe that is like a perfect, that is a perfect circle. That is insane. Look at that. Perfect circle. Boom. Perfect circle. Um, I don't know if we're going to do that today, though. Uh, maybe next episode we will do a buildy episode. The last two episodes, this, this episode and the last episode have been talky episodes because things are changing and, and unfortunately, uh, sometimes you have to talk as they change. And, you know, at least we're playing, we're fighting some bosses and we're doing some, some kind of interesting stuff along the way. And I, this, to me, this is like great. Like just flying around, looking at Pokemon, looking for bosses, looking for shinies probably flying over both bosses and shinies and not seeing them because I'm distracted because I'm talking to you guys instead of paying attention to the screen but I think I'm actually doing okay you know I really want to find I think we're gonna go catch ourselves a Charizard uh, I don't feel like I have a good fire type I keep hoping I'll get a, a shiny Charizard but I don't know that that's ever gonna happen there's so much that I wanted to do I never rebuilt my EV team never got my shiny gym off the ground. Stupid people! Why has everybody got to bail on me? We had such a good thing going. Come back! Ah, <sighs> dang it! All right. Well, I'm gonna head back home. Uh, if I see anything interesting on the way, I'll of course bring you guys back. But let's let's find our way back home first. We are home, sweet home. I had to kill myself and come back here, but that's fine. We are home. Uh, our gym is looking pretty good. Look, we've got some visitors. Do we have a grottle? I feel like I've already asked this before. Do we have a grottle? We don't have a grottle. Let's get ourselves a grottle. Uh, you know what? I kind of miss having a... That... That... Um... Radicate move where I could just kind of... Continually get them in the red was great. Because I don't know... What I should use right now... To get this guy. Um... Kingler. Kingler. I feel like we're going to kill him no matter what we do. He's level 24. Let's try Brick Break. Nope, he's dead. Alright, we're not going to get a grapple this episode. So bad. Uh, I'm honestly, like, I love this game. I really enjoy it, but I'm honestly surprised that some of you watch me because I've made about 200 episodes of Pixelmon now and I still don't remember all the move types. It just amazes me how much you guys can just memorize them. Uh, unless I have the type chart in front of me and I don't remember and even if I do have the type chart in front of me I still kind of struggles to read it sometimes but anyway I think we're gonna end the episode here next episode I think we may uh, finish off this so there's pillars that go up and there's like a dome on the top of the pillars and I don't know if we'll get to the dome we, we should definitely at least get the pillars done and uh, like please tell me what you think about all the things that I asked you know the questions uh, what you would like to see both you know like uh, here to entertain yourselves to entertain me for the rest of the time that I'm on here like should I keep working on that tree that's behind me should I take that down and finish this uh, this gym or should I just scrap it all and do something else or should I start a single player world or what you know do you want to do you want to see this through or do you want to see me start over with a simpler world that doesn't have a million different type of mods so that we're not struggling against all these you know challenging mods I don't know I'm rambling it's dark uh, I want a torch down because I feel like it's too dark right now there we go put a torch in my crotch that's the way you do it baby torches in the crotches so anyway uh, we're gonna end the episode here I'm sorry that this was another kind of talky episode but we're back we're gonna go back on track next episode yep we're gonna Put up the pillars, maybe work on that, taking that tree down. Trying to at least finish up this gazebo thing. I don't know that we're going to get to build all of Lorien, or Rivendell, or whatever it is, Lothlorien, before it ends. <laughs> but at least we're back here. Uh, anyways, thank you guys, as always, for watching, for sticking with me, and for all of your advice and support and love, and putting up with this lag that I have sometimes. <laughs> 
<laughs> for some non-unknown reason. Uh, anyway, my name is Vaughn, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!